Hello, my dear children. Today I'm here with a new video for you. For grade 7 geography students, there's a new lesson for you. So now we are in unit number 1, the planet Earth we live. In unit number 1, this is the second lesson. In my lesson series, it is the second lesson. So unit number 1, part 2. So today we are going to learn about the shape of the earth. We are going to learn about the shape of our planet. So before this lesson, in my part one video, I explained you the special features about our planet earth. So if you watch my earlier video, you can learn the first lesson. Then now we are going to continue shape of the earth. Now all of you look at this picture. There are two shapes. Look at the two shapes given in the pictures. What do you think about them? What is this shape? And it? What do you think about the earth? Is it having the shape of an egg? Oh, what is the second one? Is it flat? Is it flat? So now you have a question. What is the question? What is the shape of our planet? In almost all the pictures you see, our planet as a circle. How much again? Ida hamma pinture kam apni prutviya pane. Goda kotvela roopa vela. Oyala taandi na ki wo hamma to yala taandi ne mona wage da apni planet take. Hariya tamar how much wage taandi na ma. So is that correct? How can we find whether it is correct or not? This is it. So my dear children, now look at this picture in my background. There is a special word. I think you have not heard it earlier. This is not there in the school textbook. Something extra for you. So I decided to share it with you. What is geodesy? This is the special word. What is geodesy? It is a name of a subject. So look at this purple color sentence. It is the science that study the shape and size of the earth. So what is geodesy? It is the science that study the shape and size of the earth. So now I think you understand if you want to find out the real shape of the earth, you have to study this science, geodesy. In the future you can do it, but still you are very small. You are in grade 7. So how can we know about the shape of the earth? We can go to our school textbook. Let's go to the textbook and have a look at it. So in your school textbook, they have given a lot of information. Before that, look at this slide. Look at the topic. What is the shape of the earth? Ape prutuviye hadaya kumakta. Ape prutuviye hadaya kumakta. In the past, there were different ideas about the shape of the earth. In the past, there were different ideas about the shape of the earth. Isra kale, ape prutuviye shape peka gana vivida adhahas tibila tiena. So now come to this red color knot. Look at the first one. The shape of the earth 
was long known to be round. The shape of the earth was long known to be round. So what is the shape of our earth in the past? It is believed. What? Look at the picture. People considered it as a round. So after some time, the very famous people who know about the earth, who find information about the earth, they started to give different ideas about it. We say them scholars. These people are called scholars. With what meaning? So scholars. Who are the scholars? The people who have a special knowledge about something. Aristotle and Pythagoras are some of them. Aristotle and Pythagoras. Have you heard of them earlier? They both argued that the earth was a sphere. From the curved shadow it cast during lunar eclipses. So this Aristotle and Pythagoras believed the earth has the shape of a sphere, a perfect sphere. In your word, a perfect circle. Why did they so say so? From the curved shadow, it cast during the lunar eclipses. I will explain it later. According to their ideas, it is believed that the earth is a sphere. That is the first idea about the shape of the earth. So now look at this picture. This is that lunar eclipses. This is the lunar eclipses. Balanna ko meki hade mona wage the penne kiyala shadows wali. Just like a circle. That is why Aristotle also believed like that. So now we are going to our school textbook. This is a photo taken from the school textbook grade 7. Look at the topic. The shape of the earth. Shall we all go through this? Look at the first paragraph. There were different ideas about the shape of the earth in the past. Is there a kale in the past? There were different ideas about this shape. At present, Vartamani, at present. The earth has definitely been identified as a spherical object. This is proved by observing the photographs taken from a space. But let's see whether it is a perfect one. We are going to some other information. shape of the earth. Here you can see some more information. Shall we read it? Then you can understand the real shape. Even though our planet is a sphere, even though even though our planet is a sphere, our planet is a sphere, it is not a perfect sphere. It is not a perfect sphere. Because of the force caused when earth rotates, the north and south poles are slightly flat. What happens to the north pole and south pole? So my dear children, do you know what is North Pole and South Pole? If this is the Earth, here you can see North Pole. Come to the South now, here you can see South Pole. 
So this area is a little bit flat. These areas are a little bit flat. So that is the reason to say Earth is not a perfect sphere. It is nearly it is a sphere. Nearly it is just like a circle. But really it is not perfect. 100% it is not a circle. So now look at the paragraph again. Earth's rotation, Earth's rotation and other forces are making the planet change shape very slowly, but it is still round. At present, the Earth has definitely been identified as a spherical object. This is proved by observing the photographs taken from the space. So it is a spherical object, but not perfect. Not perfect. So let's see. True shape of the earth. Look at the topic. True shape of the earth. At the time of had a true shape of the earth. What is the name for that? It is not there in the school textbook. It is called an oblate spheroid. Oblate spheroid. That is the true shape. What is the meaning of it? Which means a nearly perfect sphere. Nearly perfect sphere. Asana vashen golakarai. Which is slightly flattened at the poles. When we go to the poles, North Pole and South Pole, it is slightly flattened, this area. Tikak pitara flat shape pekak tiena pole swalata yana kot. So we call it an oblate spheroid. That is the true shape of the earth. These are some extra information for you. Those who are interested in this subject, you can explore more on these topics. And also, if you subscribe my channel, Time to time, I will put some extra information related to geography. So you can enjoy those videos. Now look at this picture. Can you see North Pole and South Pole in this picture? Look at it. North Pole here. Look at North. North Pole. Then come to the South. South Pole. These are the two polar areas. So the polar diameter and the equatorial diameter. If I put the letters like this. A and B. If we draw a line from A to B. If we draw a line like this from A to B. What is the length of that in kilometers? Look at the picture. This is the equatorial diameter. This green color line is the equatorial diameter. So 12,756 kilometers. Equatorial diameter. If you look at polar diameter, Polar diameter is from C to D. Look at my picture. Look at the red color line. And then look at this. What is the polar diameter in kilometers? 12,714. Here 12,756. There is a very small difference. There is a very small difference. So this earth, if it is a full 
if it is a full sphere hariyatama golakaranam pote me equatorial diameter ekai polar diameter ekai samana wenna ona neda purthayak na eka hariyatama raun nathi nisa thamai me podi wenasak avilla thiye that is the way of proving that earth is not a full or a perfect sphere but this difference is very small so we can say it is nearly a sphere it is just spherical so now i think you understand the real shape of the earth and the reasons to say like that how to prove that the earth is not a full sphere how can we prove it think about the earlier picture flatness of the earth in polar regions that is one reason in polar regions the earth is a little bit flat tikak patali polar regions waladi second reason largeness of the equatorial circumference than the polar circumference these are the reasons to prove i got this page from the school textbook all of you look at this now look at figure 1.3 in your school textbook there you can easily understand this however the following data proves that it is only a minor difference so you have to remember this data equatorial diameter what is polar diameter what is equatorial circumference what is polar circumference and then what is the total area of the earth if you think about the surface of the earth what is the area ape prutuviye matupita varga pramaneya kocharakta look at this 510 million square kilometers look at this it is not just kilometers it is area to measure the area we use square kilometers so the surface area of the earth is 510 million square kilometers so my dear children you have to remember these things because in your term test sometimes for mcq questions these things will come it is better to study them time to time So now I think you understand my lesson, unit number one, part two, the shape of the earth. If you have anything to clarify related to this lesson, you can subscribe my YouTube channel, and then you can follow me. You can chat with me. You can send me any comment. Then I can explain it. So I hope you will keep in touch with me. Thank you very much. Bye for today.